figure, because oversway is a one-line figure that we find also in the book of technique, okay? In a basic step, oversway, okay? In tango, quick, quick, slow, 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 oh, so quick, quick, slow, sorry. <laughs> I dance uh, not uh, clear rules as a uh, choreography. So, oversway is a line figure that you can find in tango, but you, we can dance also into the other dance. Waltz, foxtrot, quick step. In his waltz <laughs> as well. <laughs> now, uh, the most important thing is that when I produce, and I use Katia once again, it's not my uh, level partner. Okay, no, stay, stay comfortable, don't worry, don't worry. So, preparation step, which is very important, because even that we don't arrive from the preparation step, but it's important how we start. Then I have left lunge. This is the first important thing. And in the left lunge, the lady should not cross the head of the man. And the lady should have like in a position which is like approximately like a promenade position. And then from here, I lead the lady into the oversway. Okay? Now, if I have preparation step once again, I can decide to dance another line figure, which is the second one, which is throw away over sway. One, two, I have my left lunge, and then I dance throw away over sway. Where are you going? You see that my body language is stronger than what I say. Because to her, I, I say throw away over sway, but my body was leading her to the over sway. And what she do? Maybe if she tried to uh, respect the choreography, she self-service, I will say. She will dance throw away over sway. But it's not what I lead. So in the end, we cannot see that there is a quality of the communication. So if I dance, uh, for example, again, over sway, and this is throw away over sway, by my body language, she feels that she has to open more and placing her foot behind because throw over sway is not a line figure that is more in one plane. I should let the lady pass and turn from prominent position, from prominent position, by using more my upper part and also my center. I swap to count prominent position. This is a very important point, technically. Technically, but belong to the body language. Because many one is very popular that we stay always in this position, and then we then throw away over sway, and for sure we arrive in the end, and bye-bye. Because we swap the center. We are not in a good communication, and for sure you are not in good balance, which is very important, okay? So I arrive, left lunge, turn the partner by using my hip, into the count prominent position. Now going down where she's already move her foot behind, I still give support. And then in the end, I dance. This is throw away and this is over sway. That's why we call throw away over sway. Because the, what I did in over sway, it is the same that I did after throw away. Usually I see often, it's very popular, is a over sway throw away. Over sway throw away. Okay? This is the one. I want to respect the order of the figure. Throw away over sway. Clear? So let's now to dance. The first figure, preparation step, and I'll show you how. Preparation step. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, transfer the weight. Preparation step. Left lunge, ready for the count prominent position, and then throw away over sway. And then once again, you experience preparation step. And even here, you can decide to do it the first, or you can decide to do it the second. It has to be like a, and a game between, and a challenge between you and the partner. To understand if you have a, a very good body language to each other. Okay? Let's try. Ready, and four, five, six. One, two, three, over sway, four, five, six. And four, five, six, preparation step. One, two, three, count prominent, throw away, over sway. And again, preparation step. And four, five,
five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good, good. Clear? So immediately, immediately, we know the first two differences. And uh, with this kind of uh, principle and uh, with this kind of uh, ingredient that I give you for your dancing, immediately you can decide in the momentum when you are in the choreography, you can improvise, you can surprise not just your partner, you can surprise also the person that watch you. Which means that, of course, it's very important to steal the choreography. Okay? Because it's one of our uh, main point, meeting point, that uh, give us the opportunity to have uh, better communication and less uh, problem as a uh, time, as a mistake as possible. But sometimes it's boring to follow the choreography, and sometimes you arrive into the competition that you don't have the same opportunity to do the choreography. Some other line figure moving to the left in the same family can be inch line. Do you know which kind of figure is inch line? Some of you dance inch line? I show you. Okay. We still start with the left lunge position, okay? Then, into the oversway or throw away oversway, our left lunge don't have the full swing action. So this is the first difference. If I go into the inch line and I stay like this, lady cannot understand that they have to dance inch line, okay? Because I need to have a more swing action, more up, and when arriving in swing action, continue with the right side to lead the lady to pass there, and then in the last moment, block with my left side. So the lady from here feel how I enter that I lead her to the inch line. Two, three. There is much more ac accent from two to going a little bit up, place the partner to my left side hip, which is like a chair for her, and then present the partner into the shape, okay? If I dance over sway, it's different. If I dance throw away over sway, it's different. If I dance over sway, it's different as well. So you see, as I tell you before, what I say is not important. It's important what you do. In inch line, in relation of the other figure, we have our left side that work more up. I show you maybe in this direction, not just front to you, because you can see better the trajectory of the swing is not down in inch line, but I should think more my sh right shoulder compressed and the partner already feel that I have present my partner up, diagonally silly, and then I bend down to present inch line. Okay? This is the main difference between inch line and the other two figures. Then the difference between over sway and throw over sway or as explain. Experience. And four, five, six, one and half, change, place. Very good. Again. Ready? Four, five, six, one and up, change, place. Good. Okay. Now, which other line figure I can produce to my left side? Another basic figure. Two basic figures. Left whisk and some other one, over corte. Good. So over corte is a similar like in July, but when I arrive in, in July, I create in the accent on two to let the lady turn the hip and place behind to have this kind of line for the lady, okay? Which we have the same foot in the lunge, okay? So she has her right foot forward and then my right foot back. It's the same position opposite than the same foot lunge, but to the other side, okay? In the over corte, this is a little bit more difficult because we have to introduce a kind of movement and a kind of communication, which I call is pick up. 
which is the overcorte is uh, not so uh, swing line figure, okay? As I arrive into the first step, then I should pick up more the center, and when I pick up the center, start to rise to place my partner already up, which is this kind of line is very on the spot. If you dance for promenade, it is the same idea. I cannot dance for promenade slide, then over corte. Bye bye. So there is always the man from promenade or from close position. That the man is inside of the turn. Which I'm inside of the turn, I have to give the opportunity here, timing wise, and also by using my pickup to lady to pass in front of me. I place my foot and then I arrive to present over corte. Okay? But over corte is a figure that I will say is very important the balance, and it's very important to understand the couple balance and also our own balance. In order to have our own balance, for sure the lady arrive always in over corte, and the lady she's supposed to close the feet, and the man supposed to stay into the left foot. Okay? Often, we make the mistake that we put 100% the weight in our, in our left foot, and we don't have balance. Okay, it's very important, our standing foot, for sure. But it's more important, our supporting foot. Because I can go in up to the standing foot if I use more strong my supporting foot. So this is give you a beautiful line, but also give you a lot of stability. It's, if this foot is loose, it's like spaghetti, for sure you have the responsibility just into the left foot, and you don't feel stable to create in a big shape. But the first information that I have to give to the partner is I ride to the step, and when I have pick up my center, let her pass in front, so reverse turn figure, pick up my center, and from here she will understand immediately that is more over corte figure. Okay? So the other one, into the first step, we don't have pick up immediately. Here we have drive, pick up, which is moving back is not so easy for the man. It's more easy to the man to do this action in the ballroom dancing when we move forward to lead the lady in which particular step? In which particular step the man should do this action of the pick up, moving forward, to lead the lady into the heel turn. So I have to drive forward and one pick up where the lady can place and make the heel turn. Okay? I cannot use in drive because otherwise lady will be off balance. Okay? So this is, is unusual because moving backward, I should do the same pick up to place the lady and then dance over corte. Okay? Let's try over corte. One pick up, let the lady pass, and close the lady. Four, five, six. Using the standing foot, very good. Okay, once again. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I suggest that this figure, we can, we, we can dance also in three, six, nine, up to you, beat. Okay, if I dance in three beat, for sure, I will change more faster my shape. One and two, three, one. I will say this is more dynamic action of the over corte. Even from prominence, it's the same. One and two, three, one, two, three. I will use a, a, a timing of the shape appropriate for the time that I select. If I dance six beat, which is two bar, one, I stay more to the left, and then I change gradually in order to fill up the six beat that I have gradually and more smoothly, okay? Let's try again. In a six beat, so which means two bars of music, yeah? Preparation step, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Now, we're going to 
one of the last popular line figure turning left, which is uh, the most dynamic one, and uh, I will say most difficult, which is dynamic, and the speed is very high in terms of balance. So therefore, of course, in the other line figure, you have time to place, you have time to feel support and produce your figure. In this part, in, a, in the moment that you place, in the moment that you try to do your shape, you should immediately create in support. Okay? And mostly of this support is not coming from the static balance, which is like a, an, a something, subject, that you have to obtain by using much more count balance. The count balance is more dynamic balance. Okay? I talk about left whisk. Okay? It's very important left whisk to give the information to the lady to touch the free direction, the free important direction in relation of the floor for the man. Is the first of all, of course, is the starting position, which uh, I have to place my partner more in line of dance, but present in that corner. The second one, I present the partner in that corner, and the last one, I, I try to touch that corner. This is my left whisk position. Okay? I see that many one. Now, I try to show you the left whisk uh, more facing to you. Okay? And I think one, two, third corner. Okay? So, it means that the amount of turn in left whisk is a lot. And from the amount of turn, the lady will understand which kind of line figure will do it. It's very popular and it's very easy to produce this kind of left whisk now. But as, I see, as you see, I don't uh, develop the correct uh, uh, interpretation of the figure. It's just arrive and I stop, okay, without any turn. And it's very important in left whisk to let the lady understand that it's left whisk. It's very important your rotation. And this kind of rotation, which is even here, is going like throw away sway faster to the count prominent position. But my body's continue to turn is count balanced by the rotation and my presentation as well. Okay, here you have two techniques. You can stay for the lady or just one, which Katya show you. Okay? For the man, you can stay stable into the left foot, which is for me is very appropriate for the tango in order to stop and control the figure. So quick, quick, slow. Okay? I will have left foot, all foot down, right foot, I point, cross the knee very strong. Sorry, Katya. Cross the knee is very strong, but it's very important, my stability here. If I have to dance a swing dance, and then depend which kind of interpretation I want to give you, my idea is to place the heel down of my right foot in order that from here I can stop. If I place the heel down, I can produce much more swing. So if I'm going to, I know that is more dangerous, this one, but if I'm going to dance more like this one, it's more easy to have the continuity of the swing, which is, can be like, I don't know, twist turn, sorry, cut. twist turn, okay? Or can be just directly lunge to the side. Basically, we dance one and two, three, directly lunge. Okay, so preparation, free corner touch, movement, a lot of rotation, creating count prominent position here, and then we arrive in the end, you can select to stop, or you can select to have more continuity into the swing. Clear? And four, five, six, one and two and three, four, five, six. Ready? Four, five, six, one and two and three, four, five, six. And we try from beginning to repeat all line figure and turning left. Okay? I hope that I give you a not so difficult, but very clear point to how to lead a lady in a particular line figure, into the different line figure. At the moment, I 
would like that you respect the order that I give you. Okay? It's very important to create in, in the beginning the choreography. Okay? And then later, when uh, you, have, uh, you feel much more confident with the body language, okay, with the lead and fall, fall off, you can uh, try to change the order of the figure by yourself. Okay? Let's say the order of the figure now it is as I teach you before. Left lunge, over sway, preparation. Left lunge, throw away over sway, preparation. Left lunge, hinge line, preparation. Over corte, preparation. Left whisk, stop. Okay? Let's try. And four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. And four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, all line figure, we're going to dance with two bars of music. Just left to whisk, we dance with one bar of music. And I would like to see more swing action into the last part. So my, in this situation, my uh, track of the swing is like a wheel, okay? It's like a wheel, but not in my frontal plane. It's like a wheel that is going to my left side. Start from here, down, and going there. So this is my track of the swing into the left wrist, and come back here. Clear? I just give you four, five, six, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, and four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good, very good. Okay. As I say, I give you the ingredient, okay? So now, as uh, all the best uh, cooker in the world have the same ingredient that I have, but they cook the best of me because they know how to use in the ingredient, okay? So I would like that in this way, you will be much more artist because I give you the idea and the technique how to have a body language. Then it uh, belong to you how to use it in uh, the situation that you are when you are in the floor. And of course, in order to have this kind of freedom to change in relation as you want, which is, I think, uh, is give you an, a very nice feeling because you go into the competition you enjoy. You enjoy that you feel that you're able to do what you want. Okay? And in order to have this kind of feeling, you should try to experience when you practice. Because I was competitor as well, and often the mistake of the competitor is to be too much restrict into the rules, especially not into the rules of the fundamental and principle of the ballroom dancing, which is for me is very important. And also depend of the choreography, sometimes is give us restriction in dancing. Therefore, it's correct that uh, we a little bit analyze the technique in relation of the choreography, in relation of the evolution of the choreography. And this is uh, it's very open to do it, because many part that is written in the book of technique 
can be changed in relation of the dynamic of the dance of today's time, in relation of the choreography that there is today. Because 20 years ago, we didn't dance the same choreography of now. But if I analyze, for example, the line figure and the way how to have the communication, I would like to see the same quality. It's not just because both of you know very well your step, then just we hold, we maintain the connection, Men do his job, lady do her job, and it's done. I would like to see more and a quality of the communication. And like I give you this kind of ingredient, of course, this is group lesson, but I just want to give you also information about how to use this one in your practice. And of course, I would like to, that you will be very flexible mentally to try to challenge or improvise during your practice because probably of course you don't go in to practice the choreography that uh, is very important if you have the competition next sunday okay but for sure is your goal as a dancer for sure is to make a good result next sunday into the competition but is your goal as not to be in a short-term goal as to be also a long-term goal. I think all of you are here because there will be, in the future, person in dancing that uh, people respect and they remember through all their life, which means already to be a champion, to be a world champion, is not, uh, can be easy, but it's more difficult to be remembered to the future, to become a legend. This is more difficult. Is your goal is not to be, become world champion, but to become a good dancer. This is more important for me. Because then the result is relative is what in, in what you're doing. Okay? And of course, if you go into the practice and uh, you maybe analyze very small detail, which is are very important, but can give you the result in a short term is not uh, uh, what do you need, because you need to really try to change and make the difference into your dancing. And what I tell you today is I believe and I experience to, my, to myself that is make the difference of your dancing, because it's very, uh, it's the feeling is very good when you are going to the competition and you feel that you can use all the instrument that you have to play in relation of that music or to play in relation of the couple that is around you, okay? And often I see that uh, this kind of restriction that we have as a rule can be as a technique for sure, because there is many rules to respect. But also choreography. I have to maintain the choreography. Uh, here there is throw away over sway. Even that I don't lead my partner, you should then throw away over sway. There is, you know that there is throw away over sway. This is very bad idea because Lady has to pretend that the man always lead in their foot. Because you men, when you put the lady in a good balance and you give the correct information, lady will stay perfect in balance and they can dance the best performance and will not affect in your balance. I have to self-serve it myself that way. Then I will be off balance. And when I off balance, what happened? If uh, some of you push you, you immediately, you help by the easting immediately to the person that is in front of you. And then it's become the problem because you men maybe, thank you, Russia, you men maybe put your partner off balance and then your partner for sure holds into you and you will fall off balance as well. This is coming the disaster. So therefore, it's very important for me, the quality of the communication, the quality of the body language. Now, I think if I have time, okay? Just last time I let you experience the left, uh, uh, the reverse online figure, okay? And uh, I would like that you try to challenge your partner, and I would like that in, in relation of the information that I give you, you change the rules of the line figure. Okay? And it will be nice when you are at home also that to experience, like I say to Katya, that now I will go into dance, uh, throw away over sway. Okay? And now we're going to dance, uh, I don't know, over sway in July. Okay? I will go into dance, throw away, over sway. So, 
as I tell you, this part, what we do as a movement, is very strong. Okay? I don't want to say bad because <laughs> I don't want to say something or do something bad. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, I hope that I give you some information good. Enjoy your dancing.